Hey guys, I want to do a really quick video here and show you guys if we stayed in budget for vacation. So if you guys are new here, I drove down to Texas with my fiance Mike and we met up with my two budget bus budget besties, Jordan and Amanda. Their channels are always linked down below and we had a great time. We did drive, we did like a little road trip. A, we wanted to drive because we've never done a road trip together, so we thought it would be fun. And B, we saved money driving. Even with gas prices, we drove about a 1,000 miles down, 1,000 miles back, um, and we still saved money. So this is how much we spent on gas. So the way we did our budget is I had $700 set aside for gas, and then um, we kind of split up the rest. But since I was doing gas, Mike was majority doing the other stuff. Um, like food and stuff. So that's kind of how our budget works. Mike does his own budget. He does not like cash. He does not. He's not a cash budgeter or anything like that. So he does his own thing. I do my own thing, but somehow it all works. So this is what we spent on gas on the way there and back. $330. Now, if I'm being transparent, when we went to California, I think both of our tickets round trip together was like a thousand one hundred or something like that so that is just crazy to think I mean we saved about what eight hundred dollars driving um even with gas prices so I am down to drive all the time now I think it was so fun we've never done one together like a road trip and I loved it um it was a long car ride it was like 14 hours the first day um, or the way down, it ended up being a little longer than that with traffic and everything, but yeah, it wasn't bad, honestly, it was, it was fun, um, so we agreed that I would do the gas, one, because I had the money set aside, and two, because I was using the app Upside, which this is going to be a little promo, because if you use my code, you get 15 cents cash back extra, um, for your first purchase, which my code's right here, and for the trip, I got $9.16 back. Now, you might think that that's not a lot of money, but I was getting gas anyway, so $9.16 basically for free. Um, I know Upside, you can directly deposit into your account, or you can do um, gift cards, so whatever you feel comfortable with. Um, but yeah, if you guys are getting, I mean, obviously we're all getting gas if you have a car, um, I would really highly recommend using getting this app, and if you use my code, I would really appreciate it. Not sponsored, obviously, but we did spend $330.41 on gas going down and coming up, and these are the prices of gas. Um, and since I agreed to pay for the gas, Mike kind of took over the food um, expenses. Um, I did take over a couple of them, so these were the ones that I did purchase um I tried Dutch Bros for the first time Mama Margie's we did go to Crumble H-E-B and then Bush's Chicken these were all fabulous places Dutch Bros I was not really a fan of to be honest but it's hard for me to order coffee somewhere like I don't even really care to order at Starbucks I just like making it at home but for food I spent $168.78 and um I do have the app Fetch too. I just got that on this trip. So I was scanning every receipt onto Fetch. Fetch is just an app where you can scan your receipts and you get points. And then you can redeem those points for gift cards. So again, it's kind of a no-brainer. I don't know why I haven't gotten it until now. Um, but you're already buying stuff. So why not scan that receipt and get points so that you can get gift cards. So if you guys don't have the app and you want to get it, that's my code as well. My links for the apps are in the description too where you can just click it and it'll download the app for you. But yeah, if you guys want to get the apps and help a girl out, you also get um, Fetch. You'll get 2,000 points um, right off the bat if you use my code. So there's a little promo for you. And then over here I have activities. So we did go to the Ripley's um, Museum, I guess. I don't know what it's called, but... Um, we did that, and for Mike and I, it was $75, $75. And then I did roughly about $50 for shirts because I did get um, a shirt and a crew neck. Um, and I think it was about $50. I had used the cash for that, and I don't have a receipt because it was just like a little um, souvenir shop. So I don't have the receipt for that, but it was probably about 50 
and then I got my mama shirt as well. So I would say activities were about 125 75 So in total, my budget was 700 We spent 624 94 out of my budget. So we were we still have $75.06 left, which is crazy um, because I kind of felt like we were going to go over on my end. Like I said, Mike had his own way of budgeting. I don't really know what his budget was or what he spent, um, but this $75.06 was or is still in my bank account, so basically that's just going to sit in there as rollover um, for whatever expense pops up that I keep my rollover in my bank account for. Um, but yeah, I kind of wanted to break down um, what we spent because I know sometimes you see like budget breakdowns and if it's a couple or if it's a single, um, they show like everything, whereas like we kind of keep things separate and that just works for us. Um, but we do obviously work it together too because, you know, I don't know if this makes sense. I don't know if you guys cared about this video, but, you know, I just wanted to show you guys that we did stay in budget, which is crazy. Um, and I know some people had said like, oh, put the extra vacation money in a certain category or whatever, but I'm going to leave this 7506 in my checking account as my buffer. Um, I will be back on Friday for my YouTube cash stuffing as always. And if you guys have any video suggestions, leave them down below because I'm always open to suggestions. And then as always, Monday will be my normal cash stuffing. And I believe next Wednesday will be a shop vlog. Hopefully, give me some orders and I can show your order on a shop vlog on Wednesday. Make sure you leave in the note to seller box that you want me to show it on camera and I will. But for now, I am going to go ahead and head out and I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as you can and I will see you guys on Friday. Bye guys.